looks like we are. Are we streaming? Yes, we are streaming. We are streaming. So here we are on a Wednesday evening where I am. Oh, and then we're gonna we're gonna try this again. We'll try it again, and we'll see if if the Mac decides to go to sleep. I'm gonna try to keep a close eye on things. I'll try to keep clicking on things. I mean, I just, I really do not, I don't remember. Oh, I said, I said if we had three clean streams, that's when I would believe it. <clears throat> Pardon me that we're out of the woods here. I don't know why my throat kind of dried up on me right there. In any event, okay, I posted everywhere on Discord and I will post on I have heard somebody refer to uh, the Twitter and now its new name as Twix, which I have to admit, I find that kind of funny. I do like that. I do like, I do like Twix. I mean, it's not going to get me to start using the service. Don't get me wrong. It's just a name thing. But that is, that is, that is a clever way to use the, the new and old name so that people know what it is because you see you know I mean, i'm refused to call it by its new name it's so stupid but twix all right i can admit i can get behind that so anyway welcome to the stream we will try to keep this thing alive i will keep an eye on this i really i almost want to i almost feel like it has to be something timing out but i think last time it was okay i think the last stream was okay i i am going to start trying out well let me get a drink I am going to test out YouTube live streaming. Um, I don't know that it's really going to be any better or worse than Twitch. I don't know. I, I'm trying to, you know, how do I put this? How do I put, I mean, it's not like these don't, the, all these streams don't end up on YouTube anyway. I don't know what YouTube's policy as far as streams. I assume because Twitch, of course, evaporates the streams, you know, some some amount of days after you do them. I don't know that YouTube does the same thing. I'm actually kind of curious. I don't know. I really don't know if it does or doesn't. But I've had my YouTube channels up for a while now, so um, I don't pay for anything. But then again, I don't think Google really monetizes those the same way. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and do the little opening, and then I will get into my thoughts on this because I have some. And uh, what we're going to be looking at today, I do love that this thing does appear to fade out not really well. That's great. That's great. I don't remember it doing the automatic fade like that before. Uh, I'm, I'm going back and forth on whether I'm going to work on this image or on... Uh, where are we? Or on this image. You know, I want to take a break from this one. We're going to go with this one. Yeah, we'll go with this one. And um, so the reason I'm kind of... I'm, I'm looking at doing YouTube streaming, which you have to request it, and it takes a day for some reason, I, even though I have an established account, whatever, is, I, I don't know. I, I, I go back and forth on this, to be honest. This is sort of a, a thing where I'm of two minds about it. Because on the one hand, I, I assuming I can keep the stream running, of course, which is its own thing, but, you know, when the stream works, I enjoy doing this. I mean, it's not something I, look, I only do it for about an hour once a week. I am not, by any stretch of anyone's imagination, a hardcore streamer. I, I'm not trying to be. I'm not going to be. I, I'm well aware of that. You know, this is, this is something that's fun. And that's what I'm aiming to keep it as, something fun. But I do enjoy doing it. And when the stream is working and when people come in, I, I don't have to screw that up. Uh, I like talking to people in this type of setting. Um, I think people have a good time when they hang out on the stream and say, oh man, at least it seems that way. So I, I, I do want to keep doing this. And, you know, I wouldn't mind having a modest amount of people that show up. I am not looking for 30,000 people viewers or follow I'm not not interested in any of that number one it's never going to happen so I don't really have to worry about it I'm, I don't I cannot see any scenario 
where any channel that I'm associated with gets really big, mostly because I don't promote it and I don't do a lot of the stuff that you have to do to make these channels large, because it's just not my goal. It's not, it's not what I'm interested in. But I do find this type of thing fun. And, you know, uh, and, and YouTube does have, well, I guess Twitch does too. It's just like, the, I, there's a, I have somewhat of, I mean somewhat, this is a, this is a very, very minor number, but I have about 80 something subscribers on the podcast YouTube channel, which I want to be very clear about this. I have, I don't really market any of it. So those are organically growing. Now, of course, there's always ways where you can pay things and do all this artificial boosting and all that stuff. I'm not doing any of that. It's not going to happen. It's not what I'm interested in. I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to artificially goose the numbers. That's just not, not something I'm going to do. And so is this already at a percentage? It is at 75%. Let me hundred percent this really quick. So I like the fact that there are that many people who have just kind of found the channel somehow. Admittedly, despite my constant complaining about the YouTube algorithm, which is crap, but it is nice to know that, you know, some people found their way through it one way or another. Maybe there was some word of mouth. Maybe there was some, some type of way that they came to it. I like that. That to me is very appealing. I like the idea of the organic side of the growth where people just kind of find our stuff. That I like. Where is this? Okay, I gotta cut this down because this looks like garbage. Um, so I don't know if doing the live stream on YouTube would be a better thing because I already kind of have the the adjacent channel on there. I don't know. I don't. I don't know anything about what I'm doing. You know, I, I don't know anything. But uh, oh, let me click on stuff. Let me click on stuff. There we go. Click, click, click. I'm trying to make sure this thing doesn't go to sleep or whatever it's doing. <clears throat> what happened here? What What is going on here? What is this? Did I screw? Oh, I know what I did. I know exactly what I did. That was meant to be. Yep, I see it. I see it. I got it. Okay, just took a minute. Just took a minute to figure it out, but I got it. I'm just trying to see where exactly these lines were. Yeah, they're meant to be in there. Actually, wait a minute. What what did I do here? What did I do here? Did I mean to make this whole thing be dark like that? Was that intentional somehow? I'm trying to figure out what I did here. Okay, hold on. Let me reverse my erases. I think I figured it out. Yeah, yeah, I figured it out. Okay, where is where I started erasing? I got it. Because this, put the white background on there. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's really, why did I do it like that? I, I have no idea what I did here. I, I am really confused by whatever I did here. Because that would seem to be, that's the background. So this is darker areas. Okay. Okay. Well, that would make sense to be like here, but not everywhere else. I don't know what I did there. I don't know what I did here. Not, I, I must have not been paying attention to something. Anyway, so that's why I'm kind of looking at maybe doing the, the YouTube streaming thing. Not that I'm unhappy with, I, I'm, I'm genuinely shocked I have 34 people subscribed to the uh, Twitch channel. Again, I don't, I don't do any type of promotion or anything like that. I, so I really hope, and I would expect based on the way it's, damn it, sorry, there we go, that people are just finding their way here somehow organically, and that's fine. I don't mind that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just curious. It's also good to have options. If for some reason Twitch does something, I mean, we're seeing a lot of weird things happening with tech companies right now. So it could very well be that Twitch a week from now, a month from now, whatever, decides, oh, we're going to now bill everybody. There are no more free accounts and you have to pay. At which point I'm jumping out because I don't care that much. I'm not going to pay anything. This is good because it's a free thing. You know, I think the expiring 
videos thing. I think that's a good approach. Let me click on my computer. Do not go to sleep, please. Thank you. I, I you know, I think that's a fair thing that the videos expire. I think that's actually a, I, I actually think that's a really, really clever and effective way of saying, okay, well, you can have a free account, but your videos will expire. We're not going to store this stuff for you infinitely. I think that's absolutely fair. I actually quite like that that's what the approach that they took, that they don't, that they use that as their way of kind of saying, all right, if you want more of this stuff, uh, or if you want your stuff to last longer, I should say, then you're going to have to pay. I think that's good. I think that's, that is a good deal. Or, I mean, yeah, no, it is. I was, I was about to revise that. No, it is. That's a good deal. I'm saying you can, you can stream on this platform for free. Uh, no limit is, I mean, I'm sure there is some kind of limit, but I mean, you can stream for hours as far as I know on the free accounts. I don't think there's any limit to that. And the only thing is, well, we're not going to store them all for you. They shouldn't. That stuff costs money. You know, they, they should not be expected for a free account. I mean, they are selling ads on people watching, I guess. So I, if you're watching this, I assume you get fed some kind of ads. They have nothing to do with me. Uh, I don't get to choose them or anything like that. But, you know, I, I, I don't think they should be expect. Oh, I saw that. That's okay. That's a normal crash. That's just Reflector doing what Reflector does. I'm okay with that. It should come right back. There it is. So yeah, the, the free tier thing, that may, oh, well, I just obscured the windows though. There we go. That all makes sense to me. I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't have any issues with that. I don't think that's a, uh, I, I have no issues with what they do there. I think that's perfectly fine. But that doesn't mean that they won't change that. You know, we're, we're seeing layoffs all over the place. I just saw something about Netflix is going to do another price hike. You know what? I think I jumped off Netflix at the right time. I think I did. Because I think they're just going to keep driving that price up. And I am okay not being on Netflix. I spent a lot of years paying for Netflix. Don't get me wrong. They have some good stuff. I'll probably go back at some point. Like when the new Cobra Kai comes out, I'm sure I'll renew for that. Because my wife and I really enjoy that show. And I will pay for a month to watch that. Go through it. And then I'll probably cancel it again. Because, you know, I just didn't find myself watching all that much stuff on there and the content just keeps jumping around now it feels like that's getting more frequent too there's another thing you know content used to be you know we knew what what shows were on which service and that that is now changing it feels like more rapidly than it did before and i'm sure it's because all these companies are just desperately trying to figure out how they can squeeze more money out of people and the reality is there's only so much money People run out of money. You can't you can't just keep doing this stuff forever. And I think they really think they can. And I don't know. I don't think it's going to work out in the long run there, boo-boo. I think it's going to be a problem. But it's their problem, not mine. So, but that's what I mean is, you know, Twitch is fine today. I, have, I haven't seen anything that indicates they're planning on putting any type of, you know, end to the free accounts or anything like that. But that doesn't mean it can't happen. So getting the YouTube streaming angle up and running, good idea no matter what. Just to, just to have a nice backup option. Or if Twitch just has it, yeah, there it just, just has an outage. Let's say I want to stream one night and it's not working. Or this app, you know, like OBS suddenly can't work with Twitch anymore. You know, I'm not gonna go crazy trying to fix all this stuff. I'm just not gonna use it anymore. I'll just jump to something else. I'm gonna go ahead and darken this whole area. Because I like the idea of this being dark over here, so we'll just go ahead and do that. And then just erase the stuff I don't. Oops, keep bringing out that giant. You know, I can bring that down a little bit. It doesn't have to be that big. Yeah, it's much more natural. So, yeah, I'll test that out probably next week. Because, like I said, uh, YouTube has this thing where, okay, you request a live stream and that takes 24 hours before you can, which is just. Bizarre to me for people who don't who didn't just create their account 15 minutes ago. Like I get that, you know, you want to stop spammers and that type of thing. But I've had an account for a while. Why the 24 hour wait? I don't care. I can perfect. I am. Sorry about the. Old, I'm fine waiting. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. Oh, I'm not going to use it because I got to wait. No, I'm not one of those people. 
but I just don't understand where it's coming from because again, I have an account as far as I know in good standing. Um, unless it's because the account that I requested on is the free one because I do pay for YouTube premium. Yeah, premium. And that's, but that's not the account I requested on. So maybe it's a free paid thing. Maybe that's a way to try to, I don't, I don't think 24 hours is going to make a difference to anybody. If you're not paying for YouTube, I don't think a 24 hour wait to stream is gonna do it. So I have a feeling it's more of a security thing. That's my guess, is that that's some kind of anti-spam or anti-false account thing that they do. Okay. Let me click something here. Click, there we go. Okay. So that's my suspicion. That's fine. Like I said, not, not terrible. I can wait 24 hours. Okay, that's the line work. Sorry about the yawn. I'm really not trying to yawn. So I, I don't think I said this at the top. It's been a while since I pulled this image up. This is the Skeeter Buxton character that uh, Brian Korfoth over on uh, Hat Hole Hold video uh, did in one of his videos. Or actually I should, two or three of his videos. So I, I just enjoyed the character quite a bit and uh, decided to do a drawing of it because I like it. There's some as you can see, some neon lighting to it. So, sorry, hold on a minute, I'm just checking. Okay, song alert on my phone. I know we have some relatively severe weather. I don't wanna make it sound like it's, it's not gonna be, you know, I don't think it's gonna be anything really terrible, um, but there is some weather coming. So I just wanna make sure, cause there were actually, nowhere near us, but there were tornadoes in, in recent weeks within 40 minutes of us, which for Northern California is a bit unusual, it must be said. But again, we were never in any danger or anything like that. I did have some people checking in, which I really appreciate, but we were fine. So I was just, whenever, but whenever I see one of these weather alerts, I look at it because it's saying, let's see, what is it saying? National Weather Service blizzard warning. Now we're not anywhere near where the blizzard could, could possibly do anything. So yeah, see, and then what I told it, okay, use the precise location. Yeah, there's no, there's no blizzard here. It's ridiculous. There's not a blizzard, but, uh, but that's, you know, I get it. That's because, you know, I, I don't have high precise precision thing turned on for everything. Cause I don't think it needs to know it all the time. I just do it when I need to request something. I'm a bit stingy on my data stuff that way where I'm like, okay, if you don't need it for something right now, then I'm, I'm not going to just let you soup up, sup up. I don't know what the word is. There's a word for that. I'm not gonna suck up. I'm not gonna let you just suck up every little morsel of data about me if it's not gonna actually do anything for me. That's the thing is, you know, trading your data for a service makes sense. But if it's not providing you a service, then why are you giving the data to this whatever? Choose, insert whatever device, service, whatever it is here. That doesn't make sense to me. So I don't do it. Let's see. That. Just give that a little bit of texture on the uh, pistol there. Or revolver? Pistol? I don't know what you're... I guess it's both. No, it's not. Revolver and pistol are two different things. Are revolver and pistol two different things? I don't know enough about guns to be able to say. I believe they are. I believe those are two different things. So, I will say revolver. Because I'm confident it is a revolver based on the way that it works. I have some confidence in that. I don't like this line anymore. Let's go. Line's bugging me. Gotta be careful with lines. You can't just throw them willy-nilly everywhere. They work for some things, they don't work for others, so. But this image is pretty much, it's pretty close to done, I think. You know what? I got an idea for something. I'm gonna use that taper pen. I do like that taper pen. The, ah, this is gonna, this is gonna be tricky, but if I get it right, I'm gonna be happy with it. But I'm gonna have to get it right. This is a very kind of old school comics technique where you have these, these angles for like an under shadow. I like that, that looks good. Yeah, I like it. I like, when I, when I can utilize the taper pen effectively, I really like using it. I really do. So, I don't often utilize it properly, I don't think, but when I do, it's a lot of fun. It really is, it's a lot of fun. So I like to, I like to 
try it out on things and if it works it works and i think it works there see i like that that's again that's a very kind of classic comic book way of doing shadows that are blending into light so i really like that that looks that looks good it's simple but it works really well you know nothing fancy or overdone just kind of simple lines to kind of show that there's a, a what do you call it a gradation to the yeah i don't like how those two came out though I don't like that last one. You know what? I don't think I need it. I think that's fine like that. See? That looks... I like that. Just easy stuff. Simple little things. Not everything has to be overly complicated and overly thought out. Sometimes you just put some simple lines in. Now, of course, the problem is I only have a couple of those lines. So, well, I'm, you know what? I'm going to make it... The, it'll be a hat-specific thing. Because otherwise it'll look weird that it's not anywhere else. So we'll just do something like that. And like that. And like that. And like that. That. Mm, no, I don't like that. It still has to look like it makes sense. Eh. No, 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 I don't like any of that. I think it's because I'm a little nervous about overlapping the other ones. Let's try this. Mm. I gotta figure out how to make the curve work. Not like that, though. It's not going to work that way. No! Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. See, because I want to have the bottom ones kind of have the curve, and then it has to... Then the curve has to mellow out and straighten out, which is the tough part is getting that right. Yeah, see, that's not right. That is not correct. Okay, I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that. I can live with that. I'm sure there's a way to make it more precise than that, but honestly, it's fine. For what this is, this is fine. I'm not going to over... I do overthink things sometimes. I think it looks perfectly fine. So keep going with that. Hold on, let me click, click, click. Okay, we're 22 minutes. So far, it hasn't decided to go crazy on me, so that's good. Oh, it, it may, it may. I'm not saying that... That's not a definitive statement that it's going to be good now. It might, it might not. Let's drop this down to three. Let's see how this looks. This is tricky because it's such a thin area. Ah, that last one's no good. Nope. See, that's the thing is it has to be just right. Otherwise, I'm not going to stick with it. Um, yeah, I think I, I think I made a mistake with this one. That's good. That's good. I can live with that. I can live with that. Ugh, it's so thin. It's tough. It's tough when it's that thin. Because you really don't have a lot of room to do much. So it's like, okay. So I think I just got to kind of do... Ah, no. Angle's wrong. The angle's wrong. Right. Eh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. All right, so I'm going to do one more layer. Oh, first, I got to erase... Now we're going to do one more. We'll go back up to, say, four. And we'll do something like this. Ooh, not that. See, I'm trying to generally follow the line of that band. I didn't want those lines to be so close in, in terms of how they look. It's not bad. I just wanted to have, I wanted to have more separation between them. Ooh, you know what? Maybe that's how I do it. An idea. That, that. Ooh, not that though. That, that. That'll work. That'll work. Yeah, I can live with that. Hi, cutie. It's my dog. It is. Yeah, it's not time yet. Don't try that. She's fishing for an early dinner. I don't know why I'm whispering that. She won't understand what that means, but that's what she's doing. She's fishing for an early dinner. This dog is on top of it when it comes to her meals, let me tell you. She does not mess around. You know what? I think I'm going to utilize the taper pen. Wait, oops. That's the razor. I'm going to use the taper pen for the arms of this. God, that's... 
seems so thick. Hi. Not time yet. No, don't don't give me a look. She's giving me a look. Don't give me a look. It's not time yet. <sighs> I gotta make them even. See, that's the trick. The trick is to make them even. No, not that far though. Ah, oh, man, so close. I don't know if you could hear the grunt of my dog as she laid down behind me. Clearly not happy she has to wait. Oh, oh I thought thing disappeared. Then, yeah, those lines don't look right. They don't look right. I think they're too thin. Let's see, I want to just kind of. You know what? That works. That works. Sometimes simple work. Ooh, ooh, ooh don't race too much. There we go. That's fine. That's fine right there. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Got that. All right. That's good. Yep. I like that. I like that. That's working. Click on things here. 25 minutes in. Okay. Um, I mean, this is pretty close to being done. Pretty close to being done. Let me... Yeah, I like that image. Probably does need some more simple line work in the face or some other areas like here. There we go. Oh, my dog is fascinated. There's a noise. Basically, a bird or birds have built a little nest in one of the gutters at the back of the house. And so you can hear the bird kind of like tapping at it. And she's fascinated at it because, like I think most dogs, she thinks somehow that she could ever get the bird if she could just see it, which she could not. Trust me when I tell you. She could not get that bird if that thing was sitting right in front of her. Birds move quick. My dog does not. You don't, cutie. I hate to break a tape, but you don't move that fast anymore. Even when you moved at your fastest, you would never have been able to catch a bird, but you definitely can't do it now. You definitely can't do it now, my sweet girl. Sorry. I don't like the march of time either. Trust me. If you think I'm thrilled by the fact that you're eight years old, I am not. Very much not a fan of that at all. But it is what it is. As much as I wish I could change it, I cannot. So yeah, I'm gonna. I'll mess around with the uh, YouTube streaming thing. I don't know that I'm gonna. So I'm gonna mark it. Oh, it's just a fingerprint. I'm like, okay, I thought something was wrong with my actual iPad screen. But there is not. We're fine. What is this a thinner line? It is. I feel like I should do something like that. Just something to give this a little bit more of a, yeah. Reflections on glasses are tricky. I mean, in comics, I, I know so many comic book artists who make it look easy when they do reflections on sunglasses. And I never seem to get it any way I want. Like, this is not really, I don't really love this, but I don't know how to make it any better. Like, I can't, I can't work out a way to make it not look crappy to me and I'm probably just being overly critical on it I mean it's 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 a minor part of something it doesn't matter really darken that though bring that brightness down to let's say 40 ooh, ooh, 40 percent yes oh, whatever 39 is fine give these a little bit of shading to it here just so we've got some shadows going on or some darker areas not really shadows necessarily but just some darker areas that can correspond with these light bloom things i'm doing here so we color that but yeah I, there's comic artists who do great reflections and glasses and i'm just astounded astounded by them it's so good I mean, they're just making them up. They're not, I don't think they're actually basing them on real reflections or anything, but yeah, they sell them. Great comic book artists will sell you on the reality of something, even if it doesn't correspond to anything that could possibly be real. That's, that's what makes really good comic artists just remarkable is their ability to convince you that something is feasible, even when, you know, of course it isn't. That's why I love comics so much. That's why I remember 
remember when I was younger, there was a uh, art teacher. His name I don't remember, but I can tell you I don't remember the person very fondly. It was a man, I think, who said, I'll stop doing... I remember the phrase cartoon crap was used. And I went, yep, you know, I, it, not that I'm a teacher. I do not believe I am equipped to be a teacher, even though people have said, oh, you should teach. I'm like, I don't think you really want me teaching. Um, but if I was to ever decide to teach anything, I would absolutely never. I mean, it would be in our class. That's, it would be. But never, ever would I come anywhere near saying something like that to somebody. I would, I would try to base teaching on encouragement and positivity and not telling somebody whether they're doing something right or wrong because in the end there when it comes to art especially there is no right and wrong there is no right and wrong there's nobody who gets to tell you i mean i've said some version of this before i'm sure so this is going to be a little bit of repeating myself i apologize but i'm not going to sit here and tell you that when i see artwork from some people including some very famous names, I don't go, yeah, that ain't for me. You as the viewer, you as the person observing the work, you're free to make it whatever judgments you want. That's the beauty of art, is that two people looking at the same thing can have a radically different interpretation of what it is. I, I'm not gonna, I, I don't believe in telling anybody what good or bad art is. They have to make that decision on their own. But I, you know what? I, I left these in, I'm taking these out these little marks. I don't like these anymore. I left them in and I know why I did it, but honestly, no. Uh, but I would never tell somebody as a creator, my, my goal, if I was to ever teach, my goal would be to encourage as much as possible somebody to be creative because the reality is and anybody who is a creative person knows this already. You, if you are a creative individual, you are going to run into no shortage of obstacles in the world to your creativity, including from yourself, including from self-doubt and being overly critical and over analytical of your own work. I mean, there's, there's no end of it. And then are you, if you try to make any money at it, you will find a whole, a whole new, uh, set of barriers to that and i would not want to <clears throat> pardon me i would not want to be a contributing factor to somebody not being able to do what they want to do like i said creativity is exceptionally important to me and i think there's far too little of it in the world and so my mission if you want to put it that way would be to encourage it as much as possible and certainly not make somebody feel like they should um, only do it a certain way. That's just ridiculous. I mean, that that is just ridiculous. But I do I do very clearly remember that teacher saying that. And I remember thinking at the time, yeah, I'm a good teacher. And I ooh, whoa, whoa, what happened there? Did I not? And uh, I would stand by that. I don't think that person was a very good teacher. And that's not to say that, you know, when I say things like this, that's not me saying that I somehow know best or anything like that. It's not that. But I think that what we should really aim for, I mean, in life and certainly in the education system where, you know, a lot of times up to a certain point, you don't really know what you want to do with your life. You know, you're looking for some kind of really a combination of internal and external signals as to what you want your life to be. That's what a lot of everything before college, really, and college to some extent as well, is formulating, you know, what you want to do, what you, what you think you're happy doing. And I would never want to be somebody who would tell another person especially somebody who has creative aspirations no this is you're doing it wrong which is effectively what that person was saying to me was oh you're doing this wrong there well there is no wrong what are you talking about there is no wrong you know 
there's there there just there is not a correct or incorrect way to be creative y you know you can get into a discussion and some valid points on certain things that will make it easier or harder to succeed yeah, oh i just saw my screen went off i got it i see it i got it let me get back to that first I'm so far, this is good. We're at 35 minutes. We're doing okay here. Wait for it to come back. There we are. You know, you you can you can sit somebody down and say, look, you know, that the if you want to be selling your paintings, for example, here's what you're gonna have to do. Those are valuable things. I do remember there was uh, well, one of my, but this was college. This was later. But there were extensive discussions on. Okay, you're gonna have to price your work. Pardon me, I just hiccuped, kind of, but it didn't really go anywhere. And you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to determine what that pricing is, and then you're going to have to stick with it, because people are going to try to nickel and dime you, and they will. And they have. I mean, even me, who's not, would not consider myself any kind of overly successful illustrator, I've had people try to, you know, try to, to pull things. And that's something that you have to you have to be aware is going to happen. And you have to be ready to basically be like, no, this is this is what my time and my talent is worth. And if you're unwilling to pay it, go find somebody else. Go find somebody else who will let you take advantage of them, but it's not gonna be me. And that is a that is a highly valuable lesson for anybody who is interested in being a creative professional to know is you know your work has a worth it has a value and you shouldn't let somebody try to devalue your work just because it's going to make it cheaper for them that's ridiculous happens all the time don't get me wrong it happens all the time that one of the classic things is when people say oh you know uh, we'll let you do we'll do you can do this work for exposure that's that's a big term Somebody says, oh, you, well, you, you should do this work so it gives you exposure. Run, run, run. I mean, unless you really think, and you better be sure, I mean, you, you, you better be sure, that that work is really going to lead to something. And there are those cases, I'm not going to say it never happens. That, you know, that would be, that would be incorrect. It can happen that in some instances, uh, doing work can can guarantee more work later there is there is an element of that but it's rare it's rare oh sorry to figure out what i do here you know it's it's very uncommon um so you really you really need to be sure that that's actually what's going to happen and if you're not as the saying goes whenever there is any doubt there is no doubt so if you're not positive on where that exposure work is going to lead, don't do it. Don't do it. Find somebody who will pay you and value your work the way it should be valued. That's what, that's, that's an important one. And it's tough. It's, it's, it's hard to, to go by that because especially if you're just starting out, and I, I don't say this as if I'm some kind of world-renowned and experienced illustrator who's got great insight. It's not anything like that. I am barely above just starting out myself, and I've been doing this a long time. But, you know, you, you do have to... If somebody's coming to you... Sorry, sorry about the eye. If somebody's coming to you, they have a value for your work. They want your work in some way, Right? So it's worth something. Now, that's not to say that you have to charge a ridiculous rate or anything like that. There are people who, and I know people who have done this, who, who intentionally price themselves out of something because, you know, they, they know they really don't want to do it, but they don't want to, they don't really want to turn the work down necessarily. And there's always a chance the person will say, okay, and then, hey, even if it's bad work, if you're getting three times what you usually do, do the work, who cares? So there is that. But a lot of times when, when 
when artists quote ridiculous prices, there are egomaniacs, don't get me wrong. There are absolutely those people. But a lot of times what a lot of these people are trying to do is basically price themselves out of something they don't really feel like doing. I did that once. I did that once. I had somebody who wanted, and I, w I won't get too specific on it. Uh, it was a while ago. It wasn't anything recent. But it was somebody who wanted something done, and I had no interest in it. None. So I think I I basically figured out roughly what I, I thought it should cost, and, I, and plus I looked it up. That's another thing. Use the internet. It's there. Look up what people charge for things. You don't have to reinvent the pricing wheel. You can go by what other people charge. But I looked up kind of the, the, the standard rate for something, and I quoted three times that. Because I thought, exactly as I said, my thought was, well, if they go for it, I'm going to make a lot more than this job would normally pay. And I wasn't going to do a, you know, I wasn't going to do a bad job of it. You know what I mean? I wasn't going to be like that. I'm not, I don't do that. So it, it's not that I would not have done the work. Um, Hold on, I gotta max this and I gotta put it back to normal so that I can get the correct color to fix this one little spot. So give me a minute. Normal, there it is. Got it. Now I can change this back to, what was it, uh, color and what did I have it at, 50% I think? Does that look right? Yeah, it looks right. Um, so I, I basically intentionally priced it where I was pretty sure they weren't gonna go for it and they didn't. That was fine, you know, and that and that leaves them in a in a position where they can think, oh, okay, well, this person. I mean, don't get me wrong. I didn't ask for two million dollars. I wasn't I wasn't transparently obvious about it, but I, you know, I I quoted a rate that I was pretty sure they wouldn't go for, and they didn't, and that was fine, you know, because I just knew it wasn't something I was really interested in. And I, and, I, and I think that's fine, too. If you're not interested in something, you shouldn't do it. You know? Unless, like I said, it's it's money that you absolutely need because you're trying to make rent or something like that. And then there is no shame. You take whatever jobs will pay you. You know, you have to adjust that as the need dictates. If you know that you're going to miss rent if you don't do the job, then you do whatever job comes to you. And you do it well so that if the circumstance comes up again, you can do it again. But, no, you don't turn that down, obviously. That's, you know. You, you have to you have to judge things correctly but if you're not interested and you don't want to do it then price yourself out of it there's nothing wrong with that either again you shouldn't be doing work that doesn't make you feel happy a lot of the time or at least that should be the goal not always going to work out that way but you should aim for it I don't think there's anything wrong with that it's, it's like people I don't know there's a strange mentality that I pick up in some people where they feel like if they're not doing really hard work then they're not really working and I'm like what that doesn't make any sense especially in a creative field part of creativity should be fun you should you should actually like what you're working on it's not a bad thing you do sometimes pick up on this little I don't know undercurrent of people sorry about you again who feel like if they're having fun creatively they're not again really working I'm like, what where is this coming from? Where, where is this coming from? Because that don't make any sense to me. I think creativity should always have some element of fun. You should feel energized by what you're doing. You know, I'm, I'm having fun doing this. This is fun. Because I'm drawing. I'm getting to just kind of play around with things. I don't know if I'm going to leave those lines. Actually, I might just, I might... Uh, like adjust their opacity. I think they're okay. I just don't think they're okay black like that. I think it looks too harsh. It doesn't look much like shadow. It looks too uh, it's a little too rough there. So if I do something like that, how does it look? I don't know if I need those lines. You know what? I don't think I need those lines. I think the I think the coloration is fine. I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're good on that. So we're gonna get rid of it. Mm, no, 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 no. Right you no, 
know, I wonder if I should do duo tone for this. That might be an interesting idea. Where's the, uh... That's dynamic. How do I want dynamic? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I don't. What the hell? What was that? This thing must be, like, maxed. Hold on. All I did was like that. Oh, it splatters it. That's interesting. I don't want... I, I do not want that, though. Um... I don't want a dynamic pattern, I want a static pattern. That's fine, so it's not that one. Uh, maybe this is right either. Wait, 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 what was Cyber Trail? Hold on, I must admit I'm curious what that is. I don't think I've used that one. I saw it, where did Cyber Trail go? Oh, I like the techno thing, it's got the repeating thing. Yeah, that's neat. Cyber Trail, what is this? It's, the, it's dots. All right, never mind. Not what I thought it was. Multi-liner brushes. No. Color brushes, no. Imported, no. Regulation half tone. I thought I had another. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Is that tone? Yeah, yeah. Hold on a minute. See, some of this is good. Ooh. Hold on. What do we have here? Let's see. I know we got a lot of options in this one. This is a big one. Lots of options in here. Wow, yeah, very lot of options in this. No, no, no. not great. Quite, hold on. Mm. Yeah, that's interesting. That's, that's cross hatching. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably do it myself before I would use that. Probably. Don't get me wrong, it's good if you need to do something quick, but it's, I don't think it's the right application for this. Where did I see? I saw something I thought was actually potential. I think it was the point of this. I'm just, yeah, let me see these. That's interesting. It's interesting. I don't think it's quite what I want, though. No, these are more brushes. Okay, green shader. Yeah, that's more. I know what I, know what I was using these for. That didn't do that. Let's see. No. Mm, no. 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 Nope. I know there are. Yeah, there we go. Decimals. That's it. Yeah, these are the ones I like using. Let's drop that way down. I'm just playing around with this. I don't know that I'm going to stick with this. But... Oh, man. Why is it? I like the dots, I just don't like the way it's doing them. Ooh, that's better. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no, I guess I don't. Really? Hold on a minute. Why are they like that? The pressure sensitivity. Okay. Mm, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, this is the trick. The trick is... To find a brush that's exactly what's in my head, which they're, they probably don't have. <sighs> it's okay. It's not like I have to figure this out right now. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Where are we at? We're at 48 minutes. Okay. We're at 48 minutes. And the stream hasn't crashed. And I've gotten a lot of work done. I've got this in a pretty good place. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to stop right here because I feel like I feel like it's in a good spot and I want to just not look at it for a bit um, because that's that's something else that's important. So like I'm looking for brushes. I'm not finding exactly what I want. I don't want to just start doing things and not make it look. You know what? I, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought I saw a color that was incorrect. Let me look at something really quick. There's one thing. Where did I see that? Was that in? Might have been in the litho tones. 
I'm gonna see if there might be something that would work for the beard to kind of give it texture. I thought maybe I did see something. Well, I think it's that. I thought I did see something. I could be wrong. If if I was wrong, that's fine too. <laughs> Wavy sprinkles, tiny sprinkles. I just want to see something here. Is this a new layer? Where is that layer? What is that? Oh. We can clear that out. Uh, clear. Okay. Just see something. Eh, no. That's not going to work, I don't think. Even at a small... No. No, no, no. That's not it. I was looking for something that might add a little texture to the beard. And there probably is something. But it's definitely not that. There may be a pattern or something else that might work. But, um... Mm, yeah, see, these are... These are way... Yeah, but... And the size thing doesn't seem to be changed. Oh, okay, yes it is. Is that the pressure sensitivity? Is that what's throwing it off? No, it's not that. It's just these are big brushes. Okay. Well, you know what? It's fine. Um, I'm just gonna go back to here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the stream to a close here. Because now I'm just I don't wanna I don't wanna destroy anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that up there. And um, yeah. Good stream. Didn't crash. Now, is that because I kept clicking on things? Or did I perhaps actually fix the problem when I was messing around with it last time? I don't know. But I'm hoping that I actually figured out the fix for it. That would be really good. That would be nice to think I did. So anyway, good stream though, because it didn't crash. So I will take it however it happened. I'm good with it. And uh, yeah. So yeah, I think I may try the next stream on YouTube Live. I don't expect there'll be much of a difference. I don't think there's any big quality differences or anything like that. But you know what? I'm, I'm curious. I'll try it out and just see how it goes. Because, you know, it's not bad that, like I said, if for no other reason... Sorry, I'm just cleaning this dust on my, on my keyboard here. There we go. If for no other reason, and this is a good lesson, no matter what you use or how you use it, have a backup plan. Have a backup plan. Because even though, you know, I have no reason to think that Twitch is going to do anything, they could. You know, between, as I said at the beginning, all the weird stuff going on, there's no way to know that a company won't decide, okay, the only way we're going to make our growth figures for Q4 is to make everybody pay 20 bucks a month out of nowhere. It's happened. Stuff like that has happened. Uh, or, you know, that they, have, they don't save any videos. Well, then I want to have some alternative because I think YouTube will still save videos. Again, I have no reason to think that's going to happen. But I have learned the hard way a couple times, and not in a while because I've tried to be smart about it, that you don't want to rely on anything, one thing all the time. So that's my that's my lesson for the evening, I guess. Okay, on that note, thank you for coming by the stream, whether it's live or later, where I post them on the YouTube channel, doesn't matter to me. Try to go be creative. I think it's really, really good for you. I think it, it, it's... I think a lot of things would be, I say this many times, so I know I'm a broken record, but I think a lot of things in the world would be a lot better if there was more creativity and if people were allowed to create more and felt like it was a good idea. Like, there are people who exercise all the time. Exercise and doing and eating well, those are good things for your body. Which then, of course, benefits your mind, too. But also, there is, there is a nourishment that comes from creativity. Whatever form it takes. And I think uh, more people should... If not actually do it, at least experience it. So if uh, if you're not going to do it yourself, go find another channel where somebody is drawing or doing something that sparks a bit of a creative interest and go enjoy that for a while. Because there are many people who stream for way longer than me and there's lots of creative people around. So go find those people and, um, and support them. And maybe they will inspire you to start. I don't like using the word inspire. It's way overused. But perhaps they will trigger something within you that that you can respond to because there's so many different ways of creativity too we get we get the idea that there's only so many ways to create there really aren't there there are amazing varieties of ways that people create things whatever form they do it so that's the other thing is don't don't contain your creativity to what you think everybody else does or what you're used to there are other avenues of creativity experiment try something different mix things together if you want to you know um as long as it's not hurting anybody else or yourself, 
creativity in any form is is great and i encourage it on that note until the next stream whether it's in twitch or on youtube i'm gonna try it for youtube but who knows maybe that won't work at all with with the obs setup i've got so wherever next i find you uh, thank you for stopping by and enjoying the stream i hope you enjoyed the stream thanks for stopping by and watching the stream i don't know if you'll enjoy it or not but thanks for stopping by and watching it at least and until the next stream take care